Hello, thanks for stopping by. When I started getting back into the hobby, working on radios and with the ham radio gear and stuff, I started rebuilding heat kit. I think the first thing I rebuilt was a uh, VTVM. And uh, the second or third thing that I picked up to rebuild was a T4 signal tracer, because they usually go for a mint, but I, I got this one at a real good price. So I took and totally rebuilt that. And it worked really well, but it's sometimes a little too sensitive. It'll take and pick up your hum sometimes, just you holding the, the probe if you have it turned up really sensitive. And the other thing is it's, it's got a fixed probe on it, um, you know, with a, a point and a ground wire. So th th that kind of limits its use to, as far as I'm concerned. So I was browsing the Internet one day, and I came across an article in a, on a British site, uh, Pastime to Radio. I'll put a link to the article in the description below. But they had a design for a signal tracer, both RF and AF, uh, based on an LM380 audio amplifier chip. Now the LM380 is like the LM386, it's big brother, it's a two and a half watt. I used the 14 pin package, the center pins, three pins on each side are actually heat sink to take and keep it cool. And uh, I have problems sometimes with the LM386 uh, going into oscillations, no matter what I do, and, you know, squealing and everything. And that doesn't seem to be present in the LM380. It's a, it's a nice, quiet chip. And uh, in the article, they took and gave a, uh, a sample uh, PCB board uh template you know if you wanted to take and make a pcb board to do it well i just took and measured out the holes and copied it, the whole thing over to perf board you know and they give you you know they show you where all the the different connections have to go for everything and so i i moved everything to perf board and it, it fit nice in a nice waterproof box and the one thing I did when I put it together is I took and I put banana uh, jacks on it. This way I can take and uh, use any kind of probes I want, little hook probes or pointed probes or alligator clips or whatever. You know, they have the volume control on the one end, the on-off switch on the other. Now on the front you have your... Uh, uh, RF and AF switch and also the plug to plug a 9 volt battery into it. I made it battery powered. And it worked, I'd say, 90% as well as the Heath kit. The only problem was on really weak signals, you, they, they were really hard to hear. And if you look at the schematic, the signal comes in and either, you know, goes directly to uh, the uh, potentiometer or goes through the uh, uh, RF section to be rectified before it goes there. Well, it's only a 20K pot, so any signal you get up to that point is only seeing 20K to ground. So unless you have a fairly strong signal, it's gonna, most of the signal is going to take and bleed away. So I was looking the other day, and I took and found uh, uh, another amplifier that he was using, a uh, LM386, but he had a JFET front end on it. And, uh, and I didn't have some of the components that he used, so I, I looked around at some other JFET RF amplifiers, uh, well, uh, just amplifiers, and came up with this one. It works fine for RF or uh, AF. And this one here, you can see it's got uh, 2.3 meg between the input signal and ground. So it, it, even a really weak signal makes it to the gate of the JFET and gets amplified. And like a, 
a quarter volt signal will take and get amplified to four and a half volts coming out of it. And it's uh, nice, clear, you know, it's, it's a nice, clean signal uh, at both uh, RF, you know, modulated RF and just regular audio. So I put that all on a little half a perf board. Use my regular construction there with the uh, uh, pin sticking up to, to take and put DuPont wires on. Same construction I used for the amplifier itself. And it was just a matter of uh, tying into the, the power supply. And then uh, the center of the uh, RF AF switch, the one side of it, uh, takes and goes to the uh, input, the output goes to where that wire originally attached on the uh, amplifier board. And so we wind up with a circuit that looks like this. And it, it, it works really fine. I was playing around the other day and even really weak signals now, it takes and amplifies. Uh, you can hear it nice and clear. And even like on the regular audio signals and, and stuff, you, you only like a, a quarter of the volume that you had to have before in order to hear it well. So it's a nice, simple project, a very useful project. And uh, if you take and make it, I think you'll enjoy it. Thanks for stopping by. Have a good day.